My name is uh, Pastor Mrs. Ayodeji Tolulope Adegbite of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. I am 60 years old. Uh, my story goes thus. I got married at the age of 50 to the glory of God after a long wait. And uh, the Lord Almighty proved himself. But this just didn't happen. It happened for certain reasons. One, spiritual reasons, physical reasons, and character-wise. These, these three things contributed to the delay in marriage. And it just didn't happen. Glory be to God that God intervened at the right time. My story is that I was born into a polygamous home, five in number from my mother and several others from my father. I went to Lagos and Grand Girls Grammar School, started at age six, and uh, I was one of the brilliant children, pupils in that school. And in one way or the other, it contributed to the attacks I had at home. Right from primary school, I was a target of the enemy because of the polygamous setting. And when I got to secondary school too, the attack continued. Especially the major one that happened when I was in Form 3 then. I had a major accident on my way home, I, I wanted to cross at uh, this popular road called uh, Western Avenue. Luckily, an elderly man came by when we wanted to cross as students, and he helped us to stop the traffic. And like we were taught when we were young that when you want to cross, you look to the right and to the left and right again. And that was what we did. But stepping on the road, something drastic happened. That was what I remembered last. I just knew that I stepped on the road and I lost consciousness because a trailer lost his brakes and hit the cars in front of him. And at the same time, I was knocked down. And I didn't know what happened. I was pulled out from under the trailer, rushed to the hospital, and I was admitted for one year, which made me to lose one year in school. But as God will, we do it because it's the Almighty God, because He knows the end from the beginning. I went back to school and I continued in my studies. But when I got to Form 5 again, to sit for the WIAC exams, something drastic happened again because of the, my background. And you know it, I didn't even notice on time. Even my parents didn't take note on time. Because at a time, when I'm being dropped at school by my father, by a driver, something will tell me, go back home. And I will sneak back home. And because there was nobody at home, my parents would have gone out. My other siblings were in boarding school. So I would just sit down at home doing nothing. And nobody knew for quite some time. Until one day, as God will have it, my mother came home. She forgot something to come and pick something. And she saw that the, the door was unlocked. And she went out. Immediately I heard her voice. I hid under the bed. And she went around looking for me until she found me under the bed. And she queried me, what are you doing at home at this time? I told her something just told me to come home. So for how long? When I told her that it was for some time. And because of her background, she quickly took me to the church, which was a Kenyan church then. And uh, they did some spiritual painting. And the problem 
ceased for some time. After that, the law helped me. I got admission into Lagos State College of Science and Technology, now known as Lagos State Polytechnic. And I got admission to study insurance and actuarial science. First year was glorious, beautiful. Second year, oh, wonderful. But crossing over to the third year, as we all know then, I don't know if it's still on now, you normally go for one year industrial attachment. And before then, I traveled abroad for holidays before coming back home to resume. It was while I was there that I noticed, USA to be precise, that I noticed that I was feeling funny. And I was hearing some strange voices like I had, the one that told me to always go home. And this voice said, if you don't go back to Nigeria, you will die here. I became afraid because there was nowhere to run to. At the end of the day, the voice prevailed and I came back to Nigeria. When I landed in Nigeria, I didn't hear anything strange again. So I went to resume at my place of work at uh, the insurance company I was posted to. So one of the days, a friend of mine came and invited me to lunch. And another friend came and I asked her, let's go together. And we went. I'm still talking about the spiritual aspect. And we went there, broad daylight, lunchtime, between 12 and 2. We started well. We ordered our food. While waiting, I began to feel strange again, like I did in the USA. And all of a sudden, I heard the same voice that told me, get up, remove your clothes, and go. Initially, I struggled. But because I had nothing in me then, I was empty spiritually. At the end of the day, I succumbed. And I stood up in the middle of a big restaurant on Broad Street, Marina. And the voice said, start to strip yourself naked. And because I was empty spiritually, I succumbed to the voice at last. As I removed the, it was, I think I remember very vividly, it was an Iran, but it was on a Friday, so we wore a native dress. So as I removed the top, removed my slippers, as I was about to remove the remaining, my friend held me and began to ask me questions which I couldn't answer. The voice prevailed because the voice said, go. So we are, I didn't know. So I ran down the stairs to Marina and I began to run. Where was my destination? I didn't know the voice did not tell me I was just a go. So I started running. My friends were running after me, crying and weeping. But I didn't actually see them. I could only hear the voice that I was obeying. And thank God that God intervened that day. I was eventually captured and taken to the hospital. Ah, that took some part of my years, wasted years, because I was still, I was carried from one hospital to another for solutions, spiritual homes. For a long time, there was no respite. For a long time, it was as if an end has come. The doctors could not see anything. I was being taken from one spiritual home to another until one of the doctors I could remember very well in a popular hospital in Lagos. The doctor called my mother to a room and asked her whether she was a Christian or a Muslim. And she said she was a Christian. And he asked which denomination and she told him. And the doctor said, one of very popular doctor. Say, Mama, go and take her to the church and leave her there. If God wants her to leave, she will leave. And if God wants her to come, good. Just take her there. And, and that was what they did. They packed my things and they dropped me in the church. And I was in the church for several years. To the glory of God, God did not allow me to die. I survived.
and I started my life all over. After some time, I went back to school and I got a job 